So today we're going to be looking at how to create an item that can give a potion effect. Uh, there's a couple ways we can go about doing this. We can either make a food effect uh, when a player is uh, drinks an item, or we can um, create an item that um, we basically have a little more control over how it looks and stuff like that. So what we're going to be doing is uh, creating a uh, item texture, and then we'll go here and then create our potion one. Now, if we go and go to mod elements, we're going to start with the basic item way. So if we create an item, we'll go potion of levitation. And we'll create new potion, we'll add our texture and has glowing effect, we can enable that. And then we can add any extra information here. So potion adds levitation for 10 seconds. And then we can click next. Uh, potion of levitation and then we're going to select uh, brewing and we want this to stack only once and then what we can do is go and click next and then one player um, When player right clicked on in hand, so we want to do this one, and we're going to add a procedure, that's fine. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a sound, so we want to add a player sound or play sound, and then we want to go and find, uh, let's see here. Notes, portal, piston, should be under entity, generic, splash, swim, death, hurt, eat, drink, and then we want to uh, let's see here. That's fine. Level. Is there actually a duration sound effect? Yeah, so once we have that, uh, we can go and go to entity and then we want to add, uh, add potion effect, uh, or add, yeah, add potion with level that and then this is how many ticks there are so there is 20 ticks in a second so we're gonna go let's see uh, we can add it for five seconds which should be a hundred and then we'll true and true and then we're gonna select levitation so particles is the little particles around you the the character and um, ambient, I'm not sure. That's the duration, so how long the potion lasts, and that's the tier of potion. Uh, depending on the effect, I know with levitation, it will, higher numbers will vary on how fast the character goes up in the air. Or we're just gonna leave it at, uh, we'll leave it at two, that should be easy enough, and levitation, so our effect. So once we do that, we can remove the item so if we go to player remove one and we don't actually have the item made yet so we can just uh, I don't know we'll say uh, trapdoor 
and we actually need to make a condition and we want to test so we don't really need to if the player's right clicking with it we already know that it's in their inventory so we're just going to add procedure click next and then we're going to wait for that to generate and then we're going to go back in here and we're going to select items and then we have our potion there and then we can just remove one of those from our inventory and then we want to save element okay so once we have that done we can start up the game and i'll show you basically what we've created so if we go to our potions tab and then go down to here you can see that our potion has that effect on it now uh, it's just an item but if we right click on it it will give us some potion effects and I'm not sure why it's not removing it. it might be because we're in creative we'll try it otherwise so go here slash game mode zero yeah so it's just because we're in creative that it was not being removed so as you can see we can add very simple potion effects doing it that way However, there is another way that we can create this uh, same effect, and uh, that's just um, doing some other things. So if we close out of Minecraft, uh, we'll create a, another potion. So another, this time we're going to create a food item. And we're going to go and potion of uh, nausea. I think that's how you spell nausea. Maybe not. Um, something like that. We'll just go with that. <laughs> Today, that's what nausea is called. All right. And then we're going to select our texture again. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have it under brewing. We're going to set it to one nutrients value. We don't want any nutrients. Uh, always edible, yes. And then what we want to do is rather than potion effect, uh, what we're going to do is go to uh, this, select drink. We're going to click the GUI name, so Ocean of Nausea. And then we're going to click next on uh, when food eaten. Then what we want to do is pretty much the same thing. So uh, rather than needing to create the sound effect and create the um, remove item, what we're just going to do is go to uh, entity and apply this to their inventory so 100 and we're going to go and scroll down to nausea so it's spelled completely differently <laughs> whatever and uh, that's good and then we're gonna click next and now we have a potion of uh, nausea nausea I guess it is <laughs> whatever right all right so once that's finished compiling we can go back in game and I'll show you this technique uh, different ways of doing it some may have different effects obviously the item version allows you to put that kind of transparency color over your potion where the food won't so if we go back in here and we go to our game mode modes one and then go to brewing and scroll down obviously food's not gonna look like the shiny material like this one but uh, if we were to right click on it um, obviously we need to be in game mode zero uh, you can see that we get nausea for couple seconds and then it goes away so there's 
a few ways you can play around with uh, making your own potions and stuff like that. Uh, sadly, you can't uh, create brewing recipes yet, so I'm going to be talking to the developer and seeing if he can't add that to the recipe um, recipe uh, tab there and see if he can't uh, get that working so people can create like item recipes and stuff like that for um, potions themselves. So hopefully uh, we'll have that in the future. Other than that, hopefully you enjoyed. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, let me know what you liked about it, and rate the video, it helps, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.